Hello everyone, I'm supposed to be a blessing and today is March the 16th, yes, 2023 and this is a reading for my earth signs. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe and comment. Um, yeah, but my old subscribers, when you come in and you watch the video, y'all thumbs up the video. Yeah, like it, do something, leave a comment, I do read those, I will answer you back. Yeah, and with that being said, if you like your own personal tarot card reading with me, you can always call me, Miss Bless. My phone number is 347-227-5723. And let's get into the earth signs for today, March 16th. First and foremost, earth signs, the first two cards that popped out for you guys was the temperance card here and um, the seven of wands. The temperance card represents a Sagittarius, it also represents um, things balancing out for you here. Very pretty cards. Let me show you um, the Temperance card here. Temperance, things balancing out for you. This is definitely a Sagittarius as well. So things will be balancing out for you or you're trying to get some things to work out for yourself. And your next card is you. Is definitely been defending yourself a lot. Defending yourself against others is what I'm seeing. All right. Okay. Being on the defense in regard to things, ain't nothing wrong with that. You also always guard your heart, mind, body, and spirit at all times. I also see you being very victorious in some endeavors that you're going to be doing. Okay. The next card that's coming out for you guys is the, hello, Ten of Pentacles. All right, Virgos, Tarses, and Capricorns. Y'all got some money that's coming in, some newfound wealth here. Okay, I like it. I like it. Shit, ain't nothing wrong with that. You got the world card. There's a lot of changes that's taking place. So it's like out with the old season and with the new. Yeah. All right. We have here. All right, now. Shit. This you fighting right here. You defending yourself against other people who could definitely be coming up against you. This is you getting the victory in regard to it at the top. Y'all know what them Roman numbers should. Sometimes they be looking the same to me. But I'm English, not Roman. Put that shit in one, two, three. <laughs> A little bit. But anyway, like I said, up here, you got the temperance card. You also have the, <laughs> the victory card. You also have money coming in. Ten of Pentacles. That's wonderful. That's great. You have the world with things changing, seasons changing for you, and this is you fighting against other people, defending yourself at all costs. You know, I know that's real. She fuck all that. I know that's real. Okay, there goes Taurus, Capricorn, Angel Sky's ancestors, <clears throat> and Arisha. What's the message for my? Earth sign individual. What do they need to know today? March 16th, 2023. Talk to me. Talk to me, please. This card wants to come out, so I'm going to take it. You have the death card, which is the, the, the Scorpio card, which talks about transformation. Talks about endings, but new beginnings here as well. Um, yeah, you're metamorphosing, you're changing, and people can't stand it. I see big changes and people can't change it. They don't understand how you do what you do is what I'm seeing. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What's the message? Okay, I like it. I like it. Seven of Cups. You got a lot of offers that's definitely going to be coming in for you. Please choose wisely. Please use your intuition in regard to these offers. Make sure you um, dot in all your I's, cross in all your T's. And remember, just because something looks good for you may not be good for you. All right? All right. Let's keep it moving. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What's the message for my Virgo, Tauruses, and Capricorns? What's the message? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Get that card. All right, now. Some of you can be feeling kind of stuck. Why is this card stuck? Why y'all ain't saying that? Hold on. Speak. 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 Okay. All right. Tell me what Virgo, Tarsus, and Capricorns need to know. What's the message for them today? Show me. 
Yeah. Stuck energy. Y'all got a lot of stuck energy. Y'all got to stop. Somebody's not saying what they really need to say, too. That could be it. Being stuck, you need to look at things from a different perspective. I don't like to pull cards. I like them to come out or show me that they're trying to attempt to come out like this. I would take. All right. This is the Ten of Wands. All right. Some of y'all been carrying a heavy load and carrying a heavy load for a very, very long time here. The good thing about it with tens is always the ending the end to a cycle so that new things can begin. Remember when things get the hardest is when you need to, that's the final push you need in order to get through to your blessings. Your next card that's coming out is, all right, remember, this is remembrance of the past and somebody trying to come back into your life from the past here. All right, be careful with that, you know. If you're dealing with somebody from the past, remember they was a, if it's an ex, you was dealing with them for a reason, and then once that time is gone, it's gone. Sometimes people will try to come back from the past and try to mess up what you have going on right about now. Sometimes it can be good, an ex can come back to you, and y'all could be finishing up something that's written in your chart that you have to go through. So, get in with that. Whatever that fits for you, make it work. All right, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, what's up with y'all being stuck and all that? Some of y'all is very much so stuck. I don't know what that stuck feeling is for. This is the two of cups. This is a partnership. So a partnership is definitely the focus of, of your um, partnership. A partnership doesn't necessarily have to be a lover's partnership. But for some reason, I feel like it is. It could be somebody who you're working with, Okay. Okay, it's decision-making time. It's time for you to make decisions. Head over hard decision in regard to someone or something. Um, you need to unblind for yourself to the universe and uncross yourself so that you get the answer that you need. You also need to spend more time meditating, and you will get the answers you need. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What's the message? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Very beautiful card. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I may have to switch decks for y'all. Okay, thank you. Start speaking because mm, I'm about to change some cards. All right, you have the three of one. So your ships is coming in on a rise. And some of you have been waiting for something to come. Or you worked extremely hard for something. And you've been waiting for it to come. Whether it be money, whatever it is, it's on the way to you with the three of one. They normally have a ship coming in on the rise. But these are different cards here. You also have the queen of cups. Some of you could be dealing with the... Um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces individual. You could be dealing with somebody who's very intuitive here, or you could be have this in your chart, and you could be very intuitive. And here you are, Earth signs right here. Earth. You're definitely in your own element here. The money's coming in. You're in your own energy. Some of you are feeling kind of stuck. You've been defending yourself. Um, there's some cycles that are closing, but new cycles are beginning for you guys. You got the Ten of Pentacles. That's the best card financially you can get. You're standing up for yourself. You're not letting people run over your treat your less than. And things are going to balance out for you. Okay. One. Two. It's popping all on the floor, and I will get that in a minute. Looks like it's the King of Cups, though. Ooh, y'all cards is doing something today, acting a fool. You got the Justice card. The Justice card speaks of a court case. It also is just my art card. Make sure you're treating people fairly here, but um, this definitely has to do with a court case or things balancing out for you, uh, being just and being fair. We also have um, the two... I uh, want so you could be at a crossroads in your life in regard to some things. And I love somebody. You get some blessings from the universe here is what I'm seeing. Underneath the bottom of the deck, you guys, you do have the devil card. Be careful of, um, yeah, they say in toxic. Something toxic. Toxic individuals. Also, be careful of overindulging in things that you shouldn't be overindulging in. It's like get a grip on those things, okay? Somebody could be trying to bound you up and tie you to them, but this is the devil card, okay? It also is a distraction card, too, so be careful of distractions. And it could have to, somebody could be trying to distract you from making some type of money here because it came out right after this blessings card, okay? 
All right. Um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What's the message for Virgo Taurus Capricorn for today? What's the message? Virgo Taurus Capricorn. All right. We have this beautiful card coming out, and I'm going to take these three. This card is the moon card. Lies, deception, and deceit. But it tells me that your intuition is definitely on the rise, and you guys, um, pay attention to what you know, what you know, what you know. Don't let nobody tell you differently. I mean, shit, it is what it is. Anything that's done in the dark will definitely come to the light. And remember, um, or you could be dealing with the cancer here. Let's see what else is going on. So we have here... A Knight of Cups, somebody coming in with a huge offer for you to clear Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You also have planted seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth, and that money's coming in too. This is you. You planted these seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth, and that's coming toward you as well. You have the chariot card. You love to hit things head on, keep things moving, staying very focused. You see this person is very focused, not detouring from what you have to do. Stay focused. And then we have, okay, somebody's in their emotions here. Somebody's feeling some type of, type of way. Somebody could wear their emotions on their sleeve. This is the Five of Cups here. Very beautiful card. Very different in this deck. I think it's very beautiful. But remember, you do have these two full cups. You see the rainbows coming out. The rainbows represent that these is supposed to be optimistic. And these that's waste on the ground, you can't do nothing with this. But these two right here, baby, you can work with them. You can work with them two full cups. So get out your emotion, dust yourself off. If you're down on your knees, if you can look up, you can get up. That's how I put it. If you can look up, you can get up. Mm. All right. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What's the message of Virgo Taurus Capricorn? I'm loving these new cards. These are so cute. Okay. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I don't like to bend my new cards. For you, I will. For you, I will. All right. <laughs> All right. We have the judgment card. Be careful passing judgment. Remember, if I turn my finger too, how many fingers turn back at me? You, you, you. Be careful of passing judgment on people. Be careful how you treat people as well. I will be judged accordingly. We have a queen of wands here. A Leo Sagittarius, an Aries individual. All right. This could be you being very passionate. You could have that in your chart. Maybe not. Are you dealing with somebody who's a fire sign? Who's very passionate and very creative. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What's going on for March 16th, 2023? What's the message? Some of y'all, it's like pulling teeth. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who pulling teeth. That's why your energy, your cards are so stuck. They're not coming out like they're supposed to. Dealing with somebody who's like pulling teeth to deal with, you know? I'll take that. That one is a jump. So let's take it. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. This is an air sign individual. Could be Aquarius, Libra. Gemini individual. It talks, it speaks of communication that's definitely going to be coming. So you could be receiving some type of mail, some type of, um, yeah, some type of text. You're definitely going to have some communication definitely coming your way, okay? Okay, one, two, and three. And then I'm going to close out this circle if anything doesn't come out. These two look like they want to come out. I found somebody. You got the sun card. This is the Leo card out there every day. I'm loving it. Leo, I feel like y'all got a lot of happiness that's coming in, and you're going to be happy in regard to some things you're going to be creating here, because this is the ace of one. Your creativity is very high. Look at your hand. You can create whatever it is that you want. Be passionate about the things that you do, and you can look forward to your happiness. Don't forget you got the Ten of Pentacles right here. Shit. Y'all got it going on. Earth signs. I like it. I like it. This reading was pretty good, except for that stuck, stagnant energy. But other than that... Keep up the good work. Thank you, guys. Oh, let me look at this card on this flow. I don't have to be face down, ass up on camera. Shit. It looks like it's a king of wands to me. So, yeah. Just be passionate about the things that you're doing and keep things moving. All right. Have a truly blessed day. Don't forget to thumbs up my video, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, share my videos. Tell people about me. If you want a, a reading from me, call me, 347-227-5723. And with that being said, y'all have a truly best day. Thank you.